Hey, 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 I'm John Zadar. This is May 22nd, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And you're watching On Top and Hot. What I do here, folks, is I just share my due diligence on hot OTC and penny stocks. Now, as most of you know, the OTC market has been in trouble. Last week was dismal, but to be honest, it's been dismal for months, maybe even a whole year. So finding those runners, keeping up with stocks that are making gains can be difficult. So what I've done this weekend is some homework and I went out and I found nine stocks that meet my criteria of either catalyst, strong fundamentals or screaming charts and I'm going to share those with you right now. So without further ado, let's get going. We're going to be doing our charting over here at Think or Swim. This is a free trading platform you can get just for signing up for a free trading account over at TD Ameritrade. Keep your account open. That's all you really have to do. Keep it open and you can use TOS just like I am. So the first stock we're going to take a look at is ticker DNA. This is Ginkgo Bioworks Holdings. Now, this is a six month, four hour chart with a high bubble of $16 and a low bubble not too long ago of $2.09. Now, this high bubble has a lot of significance right now, and I'll tell you why. Have you ever heard of Kathy Woods? Kathy Woods is a big time investor, has a huge following. Well, back here in November, Kathy Woods sold all of her holdings in Tesla, about $49 million worth turned around and put $87 million worth into this company, Ginkgo Bioworks, if that tells you anything. Why do you think she did that? Well, they do have a product that they are working on right now that could be huge. It's called Microbe. Microbe is a nitrogen fertilizer replacement slash supplement. Folks, we've got a problem in America right now. We're coming into our growing season and 60% of the fertilizer we use comes from the other side of the world. But because of the circumstances in the world right now, we're not getting it. Now, I don't know if Microbe is ready for the market. I don't know if it's out there yet, to be totally honest. So some more DD is required. But my point, Kathy Woods bought $87 million worth back here at some price in this region. Nowhere near this price. Woo! So she must have really believed in this company and this must be a shocker to her. Let's come down to that 20 day, one hour view and I'm going to show you what these blue lines are for. This is a line that comes all the way down so you can see how the technicals line up with the chart. And the reason I did this is I wanted to show you the MACD here. We want that blue line on top of the yellow and we want all of this above this floor. That floor is called the signal line. Well, I have drawn a line every time the blue line touched and started to cross over the signal line. Every time here. One, two, three, four. And there's a fifth one right now. Notice every single time it touches that line, she jumps. She gets a surge in price. We, we did have a dip here, but come on, folks. That's a nice surge. And she's getting about 20% on each one of these jumps, but the cheaper she is, the bigger the percentages are. We had a big jump right there. We had a big jump right there. And right now, she's sitting on the 200, just about ready to cross that signal line. Folks, that's a power play here. Look, when you get above the signal line, you jump. But when you get above the 200, you jump as well. This is going to be a double, a double jump bump. This is going to get above that signal line, above that 200, and it should really take off, folks. Now, this could get anywhere up in this area. We really don't know how high it can go. But you can see these are the places she can tag on to. $2.90, $3, $3.25. And right now we're at $2.61. So I like DNA. The charts look good. She does have interest from Kathy Woods who put a huge amount of money on it back when it was really expensive. And they've got a product that I don't know enough about but could be very critical to America. Do some more DD on DNA. It looks good to me. The next stock we're going to take a look at here is ADHC. This is American Diversified Holdings. Now, this company on May 2nd acquired 100% of a company called Rolls-Choice. Rolls-Choice makes a hemp glue 
That's right. It's a little stick glue that you use to stick your blunts, your joints, your cigars. No more licking it or putting it in your mouth and saturating it with your spit just to get it to hold together, especially in today's pandemic climate. You don't want someone else's spit all over the joint or blunt you're going to be smoking. So they created a glue that holds it all together. They had a 52-week low here, folks. I want you to see this. Let me back up. That is four hours, and that is one year. So we have a 52-week low here. She is bouncing off of right now. Our 200 haul is churning up. She is just about ready to cross the 200-day SMA on the one day, and all the technicals on the yearly are screaming right now. Looking at that four-hour, six-month, she's crossed the 200 in a very big way, very big way. MACD is just punching to the stars. Look at that. RSI is on fire huge and we are above the green on the CCI. This really looks strong to me, folks. We're coming down to that five day, five minute. There's your low bubble. Climb, 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 climb. Hit a high here of 0038 from 0018. So you've got, oh boy, uh, over 100% gains there right now. And she is still climbing above the 50. MACD is pushing up right now. RSI is in the mid-60s. And she is above the green on the CCI. Folks, again, we're looking at a stock that has got a new deal on the table. They are at a 52-week low bubble, which is a big deal. That is a flashing for sale sign. If a company has value, any value at all, people will see that low bubble, do some quick analysis, and then start to jump in. And it won't just recover back to where it was. It will climb, as you can see. So again, I think AD HC, because of the deal they just made, and they are running off of that low bubble. That's 170% gains for one, two, three, four, five days she has been growing now, and it still looks good. Everything ended the day very strong. I wouldn't be surprised to see this continuing on Monday. The next hot stock we're going to take a look at here is ticker CMRX. I do believe you pronounce that Shimmerex could be Chimerex. I'm not quite sure. But the company did have news come out this month. On May 15th, they made a deal with another company to sell them all of their medicinal IP. That's intellectual property. And in that package deal was a drug called Tembexa. Tembexa is a FDA-approved countermeasure for smallpox. And this is a worldwide exclusive deal. The company is paying $20 million for this IP plus an additional $100 million over the next year or two at $25 million installments. And Shimrex gets an additional 20% off of all sales around the world. So it is a big deal. As a matter of fact, there's a token sign that tells me there's more going on here than we can really see. The CO, an insider, made four purchases of the common stock just after they made this deal. Whenever you see an insider buying shares, it's not just because they have some extra money. It's normally because they know something we don't know. They're getting in before it's going to happen. So this is a great token sign at a great time. Looking at that four-hour, six-month chart, we got a high back here of $7.42. She was under the 200 most of the time, except for that high bounce. And right here, she had a huge fall, and that was on her financials. They were not impressed. And they fell from about $4.10 down to $1.57. A supremely low bubble. Is that a one-year low? It sure is, folks, by a long shot. This is an out-of-place, unordinary, bad low bubble. This is where I expect a recovery. I expect a rebound. They've got news. They've got inside sales. But you've also got a low bubble that needs to get back up to at least here from $1.57 up to $4.08. Let's come on down to that four hour again and let's see what the technicals look like. Technicals are screaming, folks. Look at this. Everything is shooting up like an Apollo launch. It is all going up right now and there's a long ways to still go. Let's come down to that 20 day, one hour view. So she was just going sideways here, took a small drop a couple of days ago, maybe in anticipation of the financials. When the financials hit, 
Eh, she fell like a rock. Hit that low bubble and has been climbing ever since. She's crossed the 200 hole. Look at the 50. Look at that angle on that 50. If that isn't a decisive point on the chart, you can see it made a change right here, a drastic one. And it is shooting up to that 200, which is just underneath our strong resistance. Coming down to that five day, five minute look, just the way she looks close up just slowly climbing up ever so easily. Technicals do not look as strong on the five minute. The one hour looked great, the four hour looked great. But you've got insider buys, you got a new deal, and they got money coming in. So I would keep my eye on CMRX for that climb up to $4.08. Next stock we're gonna take a look at was a loser on Friday, and we are looking at this Strictly for the technicals. I don't have any information about this stock, but the chart looks juicy. We are looking at EMGE. Six month, four hour chart. We had a high back here of 6.8 cents and a low just two days ago of 0061. That is over 1000% drop. She fell under the 50 and then fell under everything. The price bar here is underneath the 10 and all the other SMAs. Hit that low bubble two days ago, bounced up over everything, and is on top of the 50 now. Look at that high volume. Look how it has been growing over the last month. It is getting significant. This is what you want to watch for. Our MACD has been growing for the last couple of months, getting close to the signal line, and the rest of the technicals not so strong. Now, if we come down to that 20-day, one-hour view, this really tells the story. I'm going to draw a line here. This is the low back here of about uh, 008, which is really where it's sitting. It's sitting right there on top of it at 0079. But look, folks, every time she hits this area of low, she bounces fast. I mean, just the very next day, she bounces. Falls down, bounces. Falls down, hits a low, bounces. And these bounces are decent. You're going from 008 here, just call it 8, up to 17. So that's a 100% jump right there. This one here went from 62 up to 14. That's over 100% jump. This one went from this low bubble, 0061, up to 23. Folks, that is almost 400% gains. And now we are on that down load again, expecting it to come back. Technicals look horrible. She's about ready to go under the signal line at a crossover here. CCI and RSI are both going down. But that's what it is doing right now. It is falling, and we're waiting for it to come back. Let's look at that five-day, five-minute. So there's your one day. She did jump here from just under 8 to 23. So you're looking at 350% gains in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 minutes. Wasn't even 10 in the morning yet, folks. Now, this is one of my favorite plays. If I see a runner, whether I got into it to run in the morning or it just happens to start running in the morning, I am out before 10 o'clock in the morning. Even if it's a long hold, because these long, strong surges that run in the first 30 minutes of the day normally fall away. And I'm going to be able to take my profit and then buy in cheap on the other end of the day happens all the time. So I'll see this rising. I'm going to be out before 10 in the morning. And truth of the matter is, I'm going to place my sell order as the price is rising. So when I see it at 70% and I say, oh my God, this thing's staring it up. Don't get greedy, folks. You don't know when the ceiling's going to be hit and how fast it's going to come back. So start selling when you see 50, 60, 70 percent. That's a that's a good gain. Start putting in your order. You know what's happening? It's climbing as you're putting in your order. 70, 80, 90. When you hit that sell button, it may be at 110. But if you wait to hit the ceiling and you see it pull back and you say, uh-oh, I think I'm going to sell. As you're typing and putting in your order, the price is falling even more. So you're going to get less selling on the other side on the fall. I like to sell on the rise in the morning. Then when it falls back down here, go back in. Buy it back in and keep the difference between here and here in your pocket and get those same amount of shares back. So where do we think this is going to bounce back to? Well, we got a low here, right? I'm even going to grab that one. I won't even go to the wicks. And then we've got this one, the medium one. And we have an awesome high one here. 
So we're down here at about eight. It could jump up to 12, which would be a 50% gain there. That would be a 100% gain here. And this one would be close to 300% gain there. So we are watching this repeat a habit, a religious habit of every time it comes down, it comes back up in quick time. Comes down, comes back up. Comes down, are you going to be there for the comeback up? You could be E-M-G-E. The next company I'm eager to share with you is Body, ticker B-O-D-Y six month, four hour chart. Now this company just had financials come out a few days ago and to me, they looked good. However, I was only reading the financials and I saw they did almost $200 million in revenue in the last three months, which is kicking. However, when you look at the chart, you can see there is their financial and it fell that day. After market, it fell. The next day, it fell. After market, it fell again. The next day, and another after market. That's virtually six days when you consider after market as a day itself of falling. But what was most impressive wasn't that they did $200 million, wasn't even that the price fell after that. It was what happened right here. These next few days, there were a ton of Form 4s put out. Form 4s are when insiders are buying shares of their own company. And this company did over 2 million shares. The CEO, the CFO, the COO, they all were buying tens of thousands, 50,000 shares of their stock at a dollar to a dollar fifty a share. So you're talking about the insiders, the management of the company, literally put in millions of dollars of their own money into this company after the price fell and their financials came out. What do they know that we don't? Something, and that's why we're looking at this company now. They're not gonna throw millions of dollars at their company after a big fall if they didn't expect something. Well, I don't know if it's their purchases that have kicked this up or everybody noticing their purchases have kicked this up. What I do know is nothing new has happened yet. So something is probably going to happen here in a short due course of time that's going to get this stock running. Everything looks good right now. The volume is getting stronger and stronger. We have our price bouncing off of that low bubble, which let's see, is that a one year low bubble? It sure is. You have a 52 week low right there. Let's look at that 20 day, one hour. Whew, looks beautiful, folks. She did fall very hard, hit that low bubble, was underneath every SMA, is now above every SMA. All the other SMAs are following suit to the 10 and they're about ready to cross that 200. And when it crosses the 200, it's going to get wings to fly. No, this is not a Red Bull commercial. Look at the MACD. It is soaring. The RSI has been climbing continuously and is on fire. And the CCI is above the green. Everything looks really good on the one hour. And the five minute, five day looks great. We were under the 200, under the 50. Once we got on top of the 50, she got a burst of power. This is sideways. This is above. She's climbing now and she's pulling away from the 200, getting stronger and stronger. That incline is becoming parabolic. Now, the technicals do not look as strong on the five minute. We did have a strong downforce here, almost a divergence. The price wasn't falling here, but the MACD was. Looks like we got a crossover just about ready to happen. That would be beautiful. She's already above the signal line. RSI has dropped a little, but the CCI is pushing up, which means that more activity is coming. So it actually looks primed to continue running. But it isn't just the charts we're looking at. It is those inside buys of almost 2 million shares, putting over $2 million into their company in the last week. That's what's got me excited, and that should get you excited too. Keep an eye on BODY. Something is brewing here. Next stock we're going to take a look at is CCO. This was a loser stock on Friday. Let's back this out to the six month, four hour chart. Now we're looking at this for a bounce, for a recovery. As you can see, that is a huge, huge drop. That's not a couple of days, folks. That's almost a month, maybe more than a month. We were at 421 here and we're at $1.65 here. That is the four hour chart. Let's look at the one year. Again, folks, wow. 
way lower than she's ever been in the last year. That is a 52-week low bubble that looks bad. We see a crossover here on the one year, about ready to come. RSI is in the grave, as is the CCI. Now, this company's first quarter was pretty strong. They have business here in America and they have business in Europe. And between the two, they did about $500 million worth of business. The business in America kicked up by 39%. The business in Europe kicked up by 45%. And they are projecting $670 million for the next quarter. And right now, they have over $2 billion in assets. So they are cash rich. They're a very strong company when it comes to that. So I don't see any reason for it to be all the way down here. Now, I haven't done a deep dive into this company. Maybe there's something I don't know. So it's always worthy of doing your own DD, folks. But as you can see, she is at a supreme low right now. Let's come down to that 20-day, one-hour view. So she's running downhill, as you would expect, was under everything here, crossed over, Got on top of 50 for a little bit, on top of the 50 again, and has fallen. And is down here, again, trying to bounce. We got a crossover on the one hour about ready to come. RSI and CCI look as though they are starting their recovery. Looking at the five-day, five-minute. Big drop for the last three days, folks. Huge drop. She was under everything down here. Hit that low bubble. Don't let that low bubble be a big enticement because that was a low bubble. That was a low bubble. These were all 52 week lows and she kept falling. So there's no guarantee that this bubble was going to be anything different. However, it's acting different right now. So we're watching it. We got strong MACD come above the signal line. She hasn't been there for the last three days. So since she started falling, she has not even been close. Well, she got close to the signal line right there, but today she's actually crossed it. The RSI is climbing just under 60. I do want to see at least 60 to feel good about it. And the CCI is around the neutral zone. Looks like she's trying to pick up as well. So because the company has so much money, is making so much money, and looks like they're going to be making more money I don't see any reason for the company to be down. But again, I haven't done a deep dive on the due diligence on this company. And there may be something out there holding it down. Check it out. If not, this could be a great recovery, at least up to about there. We're hitting here and we're hitting here. So I would see this going from $1.70 to $1.82. It's not a huge climb, folks, but once it gets above that 200, it's going to probably push further. And she has a very long ways that she can go up. All the way up to here is $3.35. If we just go back to here, her lows of her norm, that takes you up to $2.82. So that gives you a $1.20 bump all the way up to there, about an 80% gain if she goes that direction. But I keep my eye on it. That is a huge fall for no good reason, as far as I can see. Next stock we're gonna take a look at is ticker AMRN. This is Ameren Core. Ameren Core just had financials as well. Did really good, $900 million in three months. They got $1 billion in assets. Now this is some sort of pharmaceutical company. They're an American company, but they've got a Chinese partner. And they've been working with the drug they call Vasipa. I'm not quite sure what Vasipa does, but China is taking control of getting this reviewed and approved. And it looks like it's right on the cusp of being approved because they got top line results for phase three study back in November in China. Phase three, that's the very last phase and top line results are the best you can get. So it looks as though this drug is going to be taking off over in China, which is a much huger market than America. So that's why we're looking at this right now. We're looking at the six-month, four-hour chart here. We had a high of $5.61, and she's fallen all the way down here to $1.09. And look again, folks. 
Here's their financials. Financials came out and the market tumbled hard. Again, I did not dive deep into these financials. They're great money-wise. They're making lots of money. So what is it that makes the investors want to sell off? There must be something going on. But the point is, after the sell-off, there's normally a recovery if the company has value. And this company's got money. They got value, absolutely. So we expect this to come back to where it fell from, up here at $2.78. Boom, hits a dollar nine. So you're looking at over 100% gains to get back up. She was at that low bubble underneath everything, crossed to 20, 250. And she's sitting right down here on top of the 50 very firmly. Now the MACD is pretty planted. She's sitting on the signal line, not showing a whole lot of enthusiasm, has an inkling to go up. She is underneath right now, but it does look like she's trying to do a crossover. The RSI is cooperating. It is climbing, but it's at a low 51. We need to get it to at least 60. And our CCI, our commodity channel index is very low down here in the red. But again, it's pointing up no matter where it sits on the chart. As long as it's pointing up, things are getting better. Let's come down to that five day, five minute view. Whoa, we got a lot of big jumps going on here. We're jumping from $1.41 to $1.61, back down to $1.33. So she is all over the place here right now. The MACD is looking very strong right now, as is the RSI, as is the CCI. Technicals look really good on the five minute. As you can see, we had a blast off here at the end of the day. She was way way under the 200 earlier. As a matter of fact, looks like she was under everything, folks. She was. She was, she was on top at the beginning of the day. She was over every single SMA. And then in the middle of the day, she was under every single SMA, right there under the 10. Once she got over the 10, she got on the 20, onto the 200, the 50, and blast off. And look at that, folks. Look at that jump. That's a seven cents jump right there in five minutes after hours. So there was some excitement at the end of the day. All the volume is kicking up. The price was surging to get to that 200-day SMA. It had a pullback right here and then shot up really hard. Look at that MACD, folks. That is catapulting. RSI is doing the same thing. Everything. Everything looks really strong on this. I would watch this one Monday morning, tomorrow, AMRN. She's just got leftover momentum. It's a Momo play, potential. But outside of that, she is on a low, right? She should be recovering and getting up to here. So you may want to give it a little more time and watch this one because you could get yourself, oh, looks like about a 30% gain if she wants to stop right there. AMRN could be a play Monday morning. Let's take a look now at Saito. I have no information on Saito. What I have are technicals. I like the way this chart looks, so I'm going to share this with you. Like the last chart, I've put in lines here where the MACD comes up, hits the signal line, and continues to grow. Every time it does that, you get a surge in the price. Sometimes it's a parabolic surge. Sometimes it's a slow growth going sideways. Looks like parabolic more often than not, don't it? Big. First one back here went from $1.48 up to $3.33. So you're looking at about 80% jump on that one. This second one here started, and I'm looking at where it actually sits. I know it's back here. But where the signal line crossed, actually, it looks like it did cross back there. Sure did. So I'm going to go back there. That's $1.31 up to $2.33. There's another 75% gain. Uh, this one here was a lot slower. It grew from $0.76 cents up to $1.13. So you've got about 80% there as well. And this last one here went from $1.03 up to $2.14. That's over. 100% gains. And we're doing it again right now, folks. Coming up to the signal line right there and crossing. Look at that. RSI is shot straight from the bottom to the top. Looks like she's going to continue to go. And the CCI is right there waiting to burn. Let's come down to that 20-day, one-hour view. So there's your low bubble. A solid straight fall under the 50 to that low bubble. 
shot it across the 50. Once it got across the 50, you can see it beelining. Yeah, there's a dip there, but she is definitely surging to that 200, has gotten above the 200. The next morning, she launched. I mean, she took off right at the bell from 86 cents to $1.06. There was 20 cents, which is what? That's a 25% gain right there at the bell. She did fall all the way back. Boy, people took their money. There was lots of volume there. And now she's growing again. And she's got a crossover at this very moment, approaching the ceiling on the RSI. She is in the high 60s and crossing the green with the CCI. This looks good for a continuation on Monday, folks. I would keep my eye on CYTO. You might be able to get yourself a good pop out of this. There's your five-day, five-minute look. She is bouncing a lot, folks. Keep that in mind. When she drops, it's not necessarily that she's done climbing. She's just moving around a lot. But this one would have been scary. There's no doubt. I would have sold out of this one easily. But then she came right back up over the 50. She seems to be trying to stay near that 50, but not easily. We are all over the place on that MACD. And that really tells you your buy times. That really tells you when it's all the way down here at the bottom, well, it's at the bottom, right? And when it starts climbing, she's going to the top. You want to sell at the top up here. It's hard to read the bars, but you can read this pretty easy. When it's that crossover, that blue line comes under, under the yellow, orange, whatever you want to call that, that's a sell signal. If you're in it for a day trade, get out when that blue line crosses down across it. But when it crosses up over it, that's a buy signal, and that's when you get in. And you don't stay in for long. Stay in until the signals change. Get in, get out. Take your money. Try it again. Get in, get out. Take your money. Just that easy, folks. And finally, the last stock we're taking a look at here is DRCR. Now, I covered DRCR. This is uh, Deer Cashmere Holdings maybe four or six months ago, and I was impressed with them back then. This is an online sports betting company. They've got two apps, a wallet, so that you can put all your money in there so you can gamble with, but it does everything else too. You can pay your bills and shop with it. And they've got their Swifty Prediction app, which is a app that is controlled by artificial intelligence and it learns your betting behavior, what it is you like and dislike and how you bet. And what it does is it creates bets for you in the moment. Little micro bets, small bets that you can do while you're playing the big bet for your game. And they come up like Tinder. They'll tell you what the bet is. So-and-so is going to complete a pass in the next three plays. And it's a $5 bet. Yes, you swipe right. No, you swipe left. And it's just that easy. Impulse. And gamblers and impulse, ooh, there's a combination, right? So I think the app is going to be hot. Now, they're going to be working in other countries, but they really want to be in the United States too. Prohibition for gambling in the U.S. ended not too long ago. It used to be legal to bet on college and pro sports events. Not anymore. Not on a federal level. The federal government has now passed it down to each and every state to decide how they want to handle sports betting. And more than 50% of the states have already legalized it, and most of them have it on ballots to be voted on. But if they don't do online gambling, you're going to have to go to a building or use a phone to make your bet. However, many states are going to online gambling because the more that is gambled, the more money they make in tax revenue. So they're not going to shortchange themselves. And that is going to be huge money, not just in the rest of the world, but here in America too. Lots of people like to gamble for better or for worse. It is a huge market. And this company has got their licenses now. They have got their apps out there on Google Play and Apple. They're ready. They're ready for things to launch right now. So I'm excited to see where this is going to go. So let's take a look at these charts. We have a six-month, four-hour chart here. We had a high bubble of $3.36 and a low of under $0.15. Cents. Wow, what a drop, folks. 200-day SMA has just come into the picture, and it is bouncing off of that low and has just crossed the 50-day SMA on the four-hour we see we have a crossover right here on the MACD, and she is just now approaching the signal line. This is match to gas. This is about ready to explode, folks. Look at the CCI climbing, the RSI climbing. Now, I want to take a look one year back. 
It is. That is a 52-week low, folks. Right across this area right there, there's your low. Boom, she's sitting on it. She went sideways a little bit, and now she's bouncing. There is your 50-day SMA on the one day, and all the technicals are screaming on that one-year chart. Let's come down to that 20-day, one-hour chart. Price is under everything here, totally depressed, hit that low bubble, and bounced off the low bubble. Gave her a lot of strength. She was under every SMA, crossed all the SMAs, tagged the 200. You want to see those wicks going up. And look, this one is just a little bit lower than that one. I expect to see another one right up here. Absolutely. So she has climbed up, hit the 200, and has pulled back about 50%. Technicals are warm but not hot on the one-hour chart. Looking at that five-day, five-minute. So she was under the 50-day SMA. That's the yellow one here. Once she got above it, look at these two greens right there. She was just flat. Got close to it with excitement. Shot across it. Fought to stay above it is fighting for a full day to stay above that 50. Once she succeeded, look at the excitement. Boom! I mean, seriously, folks, this is what these SMAs do. People are all watching them. So when they see success and it actually gets on top of one of these big SMAs, you get a crowd, maybe a small or a big crowd, start investing in them. You get a small jump or a big jump. But that's what happens. So she did get a small jump, fell back down, just touched the 50, and is starting to pull away from the 50 using the next lightest SMA, the 20. And she got a huge jump out of that. Once she got onto the 20 and graduated from the 50, she got excited and took another bounce. And this one went from 20 cents up to 39 cents. That's virtually 100% gains. Fell all the way back down here to the 200 day, which has just come into the picture and it is now being utilized. Jumped off of that 200 again at about 20 cents to 41 cents. Just a penny higher, but it is higher. There's another 100% gains. She has fallen down under the 50. Looks like she wants to stay on the 50. This looks like power. She wants to stay there. Now, if she falls down to the 200, honestly, I would expect her to jump up to there. Just a wee bit higher than this one. That's what I would expect. Higher highs, higher lows. However, if she stays here, if she feels comfortable on the 50, you could easily get a much bigger bounce out of this up to maybe 50 cents. It's hard to tell folks, but she's got a lot of strength. And look, look at the setup right now. She took a decisive turn right there. There's an angle, not a curve. She is doing a crossover on the signal line. This is exciting folks. This is very, very potential. RSI is kicking, CCI is kicking, Everything looks really good. The volume is just a little bit weak here, so I'm not going to constitute this as a morning run for tomorrow. However, she looks like she wants to continue growing. So I would keep my eye on this. If she drops lower down to this 200, I would expect her probably to get to 42 cents. If she stays here at the 50, she might be able to get to 50 or higher. Technicals look good. So there you go, folks. We've got a slew of stocks there that have something going on for them. Very strong fundamentals, cash rich, or they've had some catalysts here recently, inside buys, which are very, very provocative, and technicals. Just technicals can be all it takes to get a stock to move. Don't think you need a catalyst for a stock to move. Twitter loves to talk about stocks that have great technicals, but nothing else to be said. And darned if those stocks don't run when they talk about them. Hope I've shared something with you that's going to put money in your pocket. Hope maybe you learned a little bit about charting. It's my pleasure to share. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.